The first chef to enter the arena today is Tom Kerridge from Marlow in Buckinghamshire. I'm looking to get a better score than myself, of course. So, you know, every dish I want to, I want the best score. I want to get 10 out of 10 for every one. So what's he cooking today? The dish is a crayfish scotch egg with wow. wild garlic mayonnaise. Wow. But I'm serving it in this. Mizuna shoots. Look at that. That's so what, a big what, boy, isn't he? They taste great, right? They, they, they do taste fantastic to some people. I actually have a shellfish allergy. So they, you can't eat these? Officially not, but I have tasted this dish. I have eaten it. Grass, what happens? It's just like you... you no, no rash. I'm just sick. Put a little baby quail eggs here, there. Quail eggs. Okay, and what's going to encase that? The quail meat? The quail meat and the crayfish meat. It's going to be minced together. But how are you going to know then that they're seasoned properly? I've written it down. I have an okay. exact recipe. So Tom's come up with a highly original surf and turf dish in his bid to win this course. But not being able to fine-tune the flavours because of his allergy makes it a dangerous strategy. If that doesn't balance, I'll be able to pick up straight away on the lack of seasoning. And he's not going to know that. So would I have gone with something else in a competition this fierce? I think I probably would. I think he's taking a real chance here. The next chef is Anthony Dimitri, who runs two London restaurants. His bold starter featuring lamb's testicles won him first place on yesterday's programme. But can he hold on to it? I am confident because I am leading the board. Uh, it's very simple. Will Jason grasp it? I'm doing wild brown uh, rib trout, slow cooked in aromatic wood oil with mm -hmm. a sweet onion tart. The trout is just fabulous. It's from the River Test, real you fighter. Catch um, probably not that one, mine's a bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to mimic its natural environments. Hence the pine. Hence the pine, you get a lot of cedar wood, a lot of fir trees. I'm gonna make a sweet onion tart with the left foot estate flour. Yep. Um, a bit of wild sorrel, some young watercress. What's gonna give this dish the wow factor? I don't think there is a wow factor here. It's just it's just really about flavours. It's about simplicity. I'm letting the produce and my cooking, hopefully, yep. give it the wow factor. Yep. For his fish course, Anton is making good use of the River Test, which runs past his historic property. He's kept it so simple. There's three, four ingredients on a plate, and if he doesn't get them absolutely spot on, it's just going to show through. The last man in is Tristan Welch, whose upmarket restaurant is in Kensington in London. He's in last place going into the fish course, but he cooked a great one last year, and he is the holder of the London and South East Regional title. My game plan is to get on top of the leaderboard. I have to recover at least two points minimum. Three points would be amazing. What is it going to be? It's going to be brown trout, crayfish and watercress pie. Well, it sounds very British. It's a phenomenal British ingredient. You got your crayfish? Yeah. They're looking lively. Yeah, they're live and kicking. They're beautiful. We found them in the stream where we found these uh, beautiful farm trout. Wow, so they're, they're, they're I mean, neighbours. They're, they are neighbours, and so is the watercress. It was all along there together, and we're going to take some of the water which the trout was farmed in. Because, I mean, obviously we shouldn't be really using wild brown trout or anything because it's not really sustainable. Anthony? Comments on using wild, farm fish? Wild, we farmed wild any day of the week. It's leaner, um, the flavour is more pronounced. Tom? I find them both quite bland. They've got to do something very good with it to make it a, a fish that sings. Can you get 100 portions of the wild trout? That's the question as well. <laughs> in, the, in the season, absolutely. And we get Prince Charlie down there with his rod. He likes that. a bit of fishing. And then the rest of the ingredients, you've got some root veg. Some... So, yeah, root veg is the base of the sauce, locally milled flour. Um, that I'm going to be making a phyllo pastry with. That's so right, you're making your own phyllo pastry. Yes, I shall be. You take yourself a it challenge, is. Though. It's not easy.